to talk about Patrick Reed. Now, I made a video about a year ago. It was really horrible. Why does everyone hate Patrick Reed? We're not even going to discuss the Georgia teammates accusing him of cheating in tournaments, stealing cash, stealing putters, getting kicked out of the University of Georgia for probably drunk and disorderly arrests. He then transfers to Augusta State. His teammates there accuse him of cheating. And then you have a whole, you know, shushing your home crowd at the Ryder Cup, calling yourself a top five player, and then missing five of the next eight cuts. We're not even going to discuss that. So, basically, last year at the Hero World Challenge, Patrick kind of fluffs up his lie in the bunker. Uh, got a two-stroke penalty, claimed he wasn't cheating, but, you know, we all have eyes. It's actually kind of funny because Daniel Berger, this last week at... Um, Harbor Town, Patrick Reed's in the rough. Daniel Berger's eyes are just lasered onto him just to make sure, which is just naturally fluffing the ball up. So you just pretend like he's going to hit a sand wedge, fluff it up a little bit, and then hit a three wood. Obviously, you can't hit a three wood out of thick rough. So, you know, in amateur golf, you just fluff it up a little bit. But on, on the tour, obviously, you can't do that. He also says... During a part on a par three, he hit it over the green and did the same thing. Put three or four clubs behind, and it was a horrible shot. Peter said, "Just ab nobody has been there the whole round." And then by the time he was done, you know, air quote fluffing it up, pretty much, he could see the word Callaway on the club or on the ball from the tower. Fast forward to Brooks and Patrick Reed's beef. Here, here's a quote from uh, the Hero World. He makes an Astro scandal comparison. Start quote, I think, yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't know what he was doing, building sandcastles in the sand, but you know where your club is. Going with that quote, Peter has also said, he's never seen a pro do anything like what Patrick has done, you know, four to five clubs, fluffing it up. To add on to all of that, the original story with the three wood. That's at the 2016 FedEx Cup playoffs at the Barclays, which Patrick Reed ended up winning. Just to clear some up, because I know there's going to be some comments about it. Basically, what CBS told Peter is to his role is to tell the story and not to become the story. He said that we can never call a penalty on a player, but we could commit comment. If a penalty was called on a player, like what happened at the 2016 here, not 2016, 2019 Hero World Challenge. So to sum it up, yeah, Patrick Reed is a cheater. He's a great golfer sometimes, but cheaters cheat. You know, let me know your thoughts down below. Like, comment, subscribe.